think I've been doing it for 11 years, but I'm not sure. Uh, the reason was in years past, we would sometimes commemorate Israeli Memorial Day, but not American Memorial Day. We thought that as Americans, we should honor um, the people who died in defense of our country. I've never tried anything like this before, and I really thought it was going to be a meaningful experience for me, and it really was. Definitely the wreath laying ceremony and the speaking with a veteran who lost his legs in Vietnam. It's definitely very meaningful, and he was just a very human person who was very patriotic, even though he wasn't from this country, and it was really inspiring and. It gave me hope for the future. Talking to the guy that uh, fought in Vietnam and lost his legs and who told all of you that it was worth it because I did this for you. And also I liked the fact that he went on in life. He had children, he had grandchildren, and I like that kind of grit. My dad was in the Army and I've always like had a really strong connection to the Army and so I feel like it's the right thing to do to memory for troops that died. To honor the dead, uh, one of the things that separates civilized people from non-civilized people is the attention and the reverence we give to the dead. I don't know, kind of like at least think about it, like take a second out of your day on Memorial Day in between going to the pool or having a barbecue and just thinking about what it means that you can go to the pool or have a barbecue because these people died for you. And just kind of remember that. One thing you can always do, pray for the parents, the brothers, the sisters, and the children and grandparents of people who fall in battle. Pray for them. Because that's a sorrow they're going to have, they're going to take with them for the rest of their life. So choose a soldier and uh, anonymously go and put flowers on his grave or leave a stone there. Uh, and that way, you know, he'll know in Holam Haba that you're honoring him and remembering him and maybe his family when they come, well who did this? Someone else remembered and it will move them.